Well, holy moly, it has been exactly three years since my small YouTube channel has become monetized. Three years. But anyway, I thought today I would talk to you about how long it took me to become monetized on YouTube. Talk about my top three performing videos as far as views and income. Maybe go over the last couple of months of the income I've generated here on this channel. And then uh, kind of finish it off with... Uh, how much income I've made total lifetime on this channel in combination with Amazon Associates uh, affiliate marketing and maybe a few other tidbits here and there but I just want to share with you my analytics and how much income I've made so let's get to it and first let's start with how long it took me to become monetized on YouTube well what we're looking at now is the first six months of my channel and you can see right there only 94 subscribers in the first six months, 28,000 views, about 600 hours of watch time. And it was uh, really challenging. During this time, I added it up. I made 65 videos in those six months. So about 10 videos a month on average. And you can see some of my view counts here. March 3rd, 2020. This is about oh, almost two months into a starting YouTube channel. I got five views in one day there one day i had one view on the entire channel so this just kind of tells you how hard it is to gain traction on youtube but again six months in only 94 subscribers all right now we're looking at nine months into my channel you can see it come up a little bit i'm at 277 subscribers still far and away from the 1000 subscribers needed and you can look at my watch time right there, 2,000 hours of watch time. So I'm kind of halfway there uh, to the 4,000 hour watch time requirement or 365 day period, but still a long ways away from the sub count. What, about 700 and what, 20 to go? But you can see 80,000 views. But if you look at that graph, you can see after a while, everything's starting to trend up as far as views. A couple hundred views a day, 300 views a day, and towards the end of that nine months, I am getting over 500 views a day on the channel. So a very, very, God, just a slow process. And of course, if you look right here, I'm doing all this work for nothing. I'm just doing it to try to get to that 1,000 subscriber, 4,000 hour watch time. Again, nine months. All right, now we're jumping to 11 months in. Why 11 months? Well, this is when I hit one of the two milestones, 4,000 hours of watch time. 11 months for 4,000 hours of watch time, but you can see subscribers-wise, only 500. I'm only halfway there. This is gonna take forever. 11 months in, what the hell is going on? And then finally, after a little over 13 and a half months, I became monetized. You can see right there, 317,000 views, really close to 8,000 hours of watch time. There you see the 1,000 subscribers. And in the very first day, I made 10 cents. It goes without saying that that first day, I was extremely pissed off. 10 flipping cents. However, let's move forward. But that very first month, I was monetized. March of 2021, you can see right there, I did break the $100 threshold to get paid the next month. But you can see about 130,000 views. My channel was starting to take off a little bit because I had 2,000 hours of watch time and I gained 221 subscribers. So about 1,200 subscribers after I hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, just 30 days earlier. I was extremely happy that I was going to get paid a hundo the very next month. All right, let me show you my top three performing videos as far as views and income. And coming in at number three is this video. It's about installing a CPU with its air cooler in a computer. And this particular video was launched about a little bit over three years ago. But you can see right there, 207,000 views. It's gained me 6,000 hours of watch time. You can see almost 500 subscribers just from this one video. And over the lifetime 
about $750. And as you can see right above me, it is still doing pretty well. The last two days, 370 views. And if you look at the top traffic sources, you can see right there, most of it is coming from YouTube search. And a nice chunk is coming from suggested videos that I guess the YouTube algorithm does for you. But anyway, it just keeps on going and going. So it'll probably keep going for a little bit longer until this particular generation of um, CPU socket runs out or just gets too old. But anyways, three years still making me a lot of great passive income. And coming at number two, as far as views are concerned, is this video right here. It's about computer fans, which way is intake, which way is the exhaust, and how to put them into your gaming PC slash computer. And this video was also published just a little over three years ago. But you can see right there, this one has over a quarter million views. About 6.6 thousand hours of watch time. You can see this one's gotten me 608 subscribers. And over those three years, almost $700 worth of income. So not bad. And if you look right above me, it's still going pretty good there. You can see 166 views in the past two days. Most of it, well, it looks like 38% is coming from suggested videos, 35% from YouTube search. And this is the type of video which is evergreen and hopefully it can live on and make me some passive income for a very long time. And coming in at number one, a video that has nothing to do with the niche that my channel is in is about an ice maker. You can see it right here. It's got almost over 600,000 views. I think I published it about two years ago. So yeah, I published about one year, nine months ago, but there you can see over 600, 120,000 views, all of 19,000 hours of watch time. It's brought me in over 500 subscribers, but you can see that this little video, this five minute video about an ice machine that I bought from Costco has made me about $2,700 in that one year, nine month time. And if we look at the graph here, you can see how flat it is the very, the first, let's see, 160 days and then boom. I guess it found the algorithm from YouTube and really jumped up. So before that rise, about 90,000 views over 172 days. And then after 231 days, you can see over 300,000 views. And it just keeps going and going and going. And because it's about an ice machine, this is going to be a seasonal type of um, video where it's going to get a lot of views during the warm months, especially during the summer. And if you look above me in real time, it's doing really well. Even in the middle of January here, almost 500 views the past two days. And you can see most of those views have been coming from YouTube search, 80%. So this can be maybe another evergreen video to where every summer it should, it should hit because it's just a really nice generic video about an ice maker. So this is my number one video. I expect it to continue doing well and um, make me a lot. Well, it's going to make me some passive income in the years to come. Well, at least that's my hope. Now let's quickly look at the last six months of my channel's income. All right. Well, today is January 13, 2024. And you can see right now in the month of January, I've already passed that $100 threshold to get paid for next month. And you can see December was... a uh, a pretty decent month for me. Uh, one of the higher paying months in my niche made about $450 during that holiday month. And you can see November 360, October about 250, September 304, and in August just about $300. And if we take a quick peek down here towards the bottom right, you can see my top earning content during the last 28 days. Again, there's that number one video, the ice maker making about $120. And then coming in at number two, I made a quick one minute video about uh, YouTube TV, uh, a tutorial about an easy fix. And it's actually doing pretty well and generating a decent amount of income for just being about a one minute and 10 second video. So about those four years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, I also joined the Amazon affiliate program. And 
these are for last year. So for 2023, my YouTube channel generated $715 worth of a Amazon affiliate uh, money. Uh, drop in links in the description or maybe a pinned comment when I was talking about a, a product or whatever. And when people click on that product link and actually buy something, either the product itself or something else, um, I received a very small commission. And you can see right there, $715 for all of 2023. You can see 82,000 clicks, 20,000 worth of shipped item revenue. Now, it won't let me go back and show you what 2022 was, but in 2022, I made $868. And then in 2021, I made about $350. And if you add up those numbers, the grand total is $1,933. And when you add up all those numbers that are affiliated with my YouTube channel, my hobby, uh, my go-to to do something to keep my mind occupied, and this is in addition to my, my day job, over three years since I've been monetized, I've made a grand total of approximately $10,587. And so there you go. I hope this video has given you some information, something to strive for. YouTube is not easy. Uh, it takes a long time to become monetized. If you're just a regular person like myself, I think the biggest hurdle I had to overcome was um, video editing. And for video editing, I use a free and open source program. It's called Shotcut. You can Google it and find it, download it. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but um, once you get some video editing down and I just used my, my smartphone as far as my camera, you know, I got a little bit of lighting. I did buy one ring light, but um, there you go. 13 months become monetized, a little bit over 10 grand, the lifetime of the, of the channel. And just with a channel of only what, 6,700 subscribers at the time of filming this video. Folks, I want to thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.